Good morning and welcome to NYFP. BlackRock iShares has just rung the opening bell here at the New York Stock Exchange. This morning I'm joined by uh, Derek, who is the head of product uh, development at BlackRock iShares. Good morning. Thanks for joining me. Good morning, Remy. Thank you for having me. Well, I know that uh, BlackRock iShares has just rung the opening bell, and this is in celebration of your launch of the HDB. Can you tell me how this differs from other your other high uh, dividend, um, your equity dividend funds, and some of the advantages? Sure, thank you. Uh, iShares does have a number of dividend equity funds. This one has been listed on New York Stock Exchange about half a year ago, and we celebrated today with the opening bell. HDV, the ticker of iShares High Equity Dividend Fund, is different from others in a way that it holds primarily mega companies, large companies that have been selected based on Morningstar Index, based on two main measures. One of the measures is uh, Morningstar economic moat, which is a measure of sustainability of future profits. The second measure is Morningstar distant to default, which measures overall financial health of companies. Overall, mega companies that are envisioned by Morningstar to do better under the difficult times. I'm sure some uh, people in the viewing audience will be interested to know about your sector breakdown for the HDV. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. The, the primary sectors represented within HDV include healthcare, uh, consumer goods, utilities, and some telecom. Between those four sectors, it's more than 80% uh, representation. Since uh, HDV has been around for a little bit over half a year, what would you say about its performance? Well, as always, uh, investors should be cautioned uh, and not look at past performance as a prediction of the future. But what I can say is that the at the end of quarter ended on September 30th, this fund had uh, roughly six months of performance and it was flat. This was flat during the period when investors saw a lot of volatility on most major indices, including S&P 500, had up underperformed substantially. Okay, last but not least, before we wrap it up for today's interview, what would you say uh, differentiates uh, the HDV from other dividend equity funds? The main differentiator for HDV is that the Morningstar measures are forward-looking. So they're looking at ways in which these companies are going to sustain their earnings. They're looking at ways in which these companies are going to have the ability to sustain their overall financial health. It's not only backwards-looking, it's forward-looking. Hey, Derek, thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for your time. Thank you very much, Remy.